All right. Welcome to this episode of Nerdsmithing. Got Mike here with me today again, so I'll let him introduce what we're going to be doing today. So, All right, so we're talking about this month's Smuggler's Bounty Box, which is going to be based on Rebels, the TV series and movies. So, Which I don't know a whole lot about, so this will be interesting. I know enough to kind of get by, but... <laughs> I know the pops look pretty cool, but... Yeah, so we'll just each kind of pick something out of here to do. I'll let Mike go first, some of them. Alright, so I'm going to go with the, the patch here, which we got, uh, we got Zeb. Um, like I said, I don't know a lot about these, but these characters, so... It is a cool looking patch though. Oh, it's, a, um, it's a great looking patch. Yeah, as far as like I've said on videos before, I don't really know what to do with my patches yet. I just got a pile of them because they all these boxes come with patches. And now all of the, including like the the uh, BAM box and loot crate and all those come with pins. And so I, you know, I've got tons of pins. I'm sure they've got a bunch too. Oh, we've got a ton of them. I'm thinking, you know, we've seen some things that we've done and that people have done in the past is like, they frame them and they make that's, them. Yeah, that's kind of know, They kind of do like a year one here and mm -hmm. they kind of do all the pins and patches yep. of that one. It looks really cool, so it's something that's always an yeah. idea. And so I'll show the pin, but if you see on <laughs> mine, when it came, it was actually out of the box and uh, hooked up on the top. And I'll try and get it out because I tried earlier and I couldn't really get it off of there because of the way it was sitting. So we will... There we go. So... And you said this was... Uh, I think it's Sabine is the Sabine. name. Sabine. Sabine. And I'm going to do some close-up. I'm not going to do the close-up pictures this time like I normally put up a close camera. I've got some stuff, so I'll take some close-up pictures and some videos of the pops and stuff when we get to them. So, I mean, I have I haven't watched the show, but I have seen a few things because my kids watch it. And I do think she's got a really cool... Her helmet and stuff, the way they oh, painted they look, it. They look awesome. It's like the Boba Fett, but it's got the cool... So I think they did a really good job on that. Oh, they look amazing. Yeah. So, all right, it's gonna get lost. <laughs> all right, so thinking something we could probably talk about first is the uh, possibly what next month is. You want to oh know? yeah, next month is gonna be or the next Smuggler Bounties box is gonna be an amazing one. It's the mm -hmm. it's the fortieth, it's the fortieth anniversary thing here. I mean, I don't know what to expect in this box. It's yeah, I mean, it's gonna be a nice. So I've been kind of with this box. Um, I like, I love Star Wars, but it, it tends to be for me is a lot of characters I don't really, I'm not super familiar with. Or, so I'm always like, okay, well maybe I'll just skip that month. And then it seems like every other month is always something super good that I'm like, yeah, I'm not going <laughs> to skip that month. So um, I like the old school Star Wars stuff a little more than the newer Star Wars stuff. So, um, and then we'll show you the card later, once the back side of the card. So... Go ahead and go ahead the, uh, yeah, we can do. Let's just since we both got that. Uh, got got this shirt, this shirt here. Actually, the shirt looks pretty cool in this one. Um, gotten a chance to glance at it a little bit. I'm really excited for it. I mean, I, I can't wait to wear it all the time. Um, I like the way they did the colors on it. That's for sure. The way oh, they did yeah. the the blue and the oranges and stuff. So, they like said I don't know much about the show, but I mean, as far as the colors of the shirt, I mean, it's a really cool looking shirt. So, yeah. But yeah, I mean, it's kind of, I mean, a lot of the, like the one I'm wearing here, a lot of the ones that come in the box are kind of the same style as far as that, but the color on this one is, it, it really did a good I'm job. Loving the, on it. the, like the blue and orange that they kind of do. Yep. Kind of use the orange as like a shadow and it makes it just kind of pop that much more. Yeah. I mean, the characters on the show are really cool looking. I know from like watching my son, or watching it when, like, when my son watches it, I said, you know, the, the characters seem pretty interesting. I just haven't had time to get into the the show. So I am pretty excited about one of the pops in here because it's from one of the movies, so. <laughs> um, you know, just, we, we just do this. Yeah. So this one has set a chance of six available different colors of these new mini Hikaris that they've been doing. Yeah. So, I mean, this month was a chopper, which is a little droid. And as you can see, I mean, we got orange. Well, yeah, we were, we were lucky enough to each get a different color. That's kind of cool. I like the black one. The reds, I got the red Darth Vader in the box that had the, the different colors. I think you guys did too, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, so we, we got the red one. I was hoping for a black one because it's being Vader, but yeah. Yeah. But I mean, I mean this one uh, looks a little bit more uh, detailed than the other ones have been in the yeah. that we've seen. And a lot of times with the Hakaris that I've noticed, and I really, I'm not a big, I'm, 
don't really collect the Hikaris, but there's a couple that I want. And one of them is the Voltron. Yeah. And every time I've seen it, it the paint job on it has just been so bad that I'm oh. just like, I don't really want to spend this, you know, the money. Cause they're very expensive. They're not cheap. Oh, yeah. And I just don't want to spend the money on something that expensive with such a bad paint job. So what's cool about these, with them being the kind of sparkly, is there's not really, you don't got to really worry about the paint yeah. jobs on them. So... I but, mean, they're, they're definitely, I mean, like I said, I want to say there's, what's, there's six colors? Six colors, yeah. I want to say there's what, there's a, a blue, there's a, a white, a gold, black, red, a gold. And I think a clear, a like clear, a silver. yeah. So, but I'm okay with the black one. I'll set it up there with my, my other <laughs> little one. <laughs> so. You go with the first one? Uh, I'll go with the one that I really want. <laughs> <laughs> because the other guy, I... I've actually looked at the Darth Maul, the the regular, the original Darth Maul pop, and uh, I've, I keep passing, I don't know why I keep passing on it, because I do like the Darth Maul, and the way they did the paint and everything on it is just, yeah. I'm going to pull it out so that we can actually get a closer look. I'll pop my box down here. Mike's in, Mike's is, is an inbox, so, oh yeah, yeah look at that, this so, is... So it's going to be difficult? Yeah, it's a difficult one. Makes it kind of cringe worthy there. Yeah. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. We popped it past the tab. But, but I mean, I, I like. I mean, I love the, the design of this one. Where, I mean, it's not like where he's ro robed up or. Yeah. And yet against like the Star Wars, you know, they have the bobbles. But the nice thing with these ones is they bobble. They have the stands to go with them. Yeah. The Star Wars lines. And I actually, when I first got my first few Star Wars, I didn't know that uh, they came off of the stand. So I always was like, well, I don't want to, I don't like to stand on them. I don't want to take them out of the package. But yeah, looking at it, I mean, they did a really good job on the, the keeping the tattoos together. The paint looks pretty decent on it. Wouldn't be, you know, the spikes. I mean, it's really cool. Oh, the spikes on the head. Yeah. And, yeah, that's, it's and, really cool. Yeah, just like all the little details here and there that they've gotten the chance to do. And yeah, I mean, that's the thing with, with the lines nowadays. I mean, they've upped it. The details and everything like that, and they even the smallest of things that they've done. Yeah, like I mean, they they kept like the little the, the little, buckle. I mean, the, the stuff on everything's yeah. great in these. Yeah, they they do such a good job. They're getting a lot more detail than they used to with the older ones. Um, I will definitely probably get the uh, the other one though, the rogue one. I keep like I said, I just keep passing on it. Um, my Star Wars collection is more of the more well known characters. You know, the, the from yeah, from the yeah. original the original, you know, um, Star Wars stuff where Mike and Tara they gotta complete it. So I've, they they gotta get them all. I mean we've got the all we got the just about the whole Rogue One, we've got all the almost all the originals. I mean there's a couple that are you know a little more pricier in that upper range that, Yeah. That the were, Shadow Trooper, I think that's the one's the like Flock Chewbacca, the Flock Chewbacca, Chewbacca yeah. Yep, those ones are definitely up there. Over but, a thousand. Yeah. You know, hopefully it'll be down the road. We'll have those in our possession. Yeah. <laughs> right, and I'll know. go admire them <laughs> from a um, distance. So the next one, we, the last one we got here is uh, Captain Rex. As far as I know from what I've heard of is that he was a stormtrooper. Or like a, clone it, tro a clone trooper. I say, it looks like his outfit yeah. is. Yeah, it was a clone trooper because obviously he's supposed to be like just after the Clone Wars. And I think that's what it is. Um, you want to rip on me if you guys want. I don't. That's okay. I understand. <laughs> but I mean, it. Yet again, it's another one of those ones. Like I mean, they kept some pretty really cool details in there from his. Uh, looks like his little forehead he's got there. The yeah, you can the see the old forehead. man lines. There is a little bit of damage on the box that I got with mine, where it looks like the shirt maybe sat on it or something. It's got kind of. Um, that's always the thing with these these boxes. That sometimes because of the way they pack them. Things can shift around. Oh yeah, you, you know, sometimes you'll see it in the front here. You'll see kind of bowing yeah. a little bit, but you know, it's it's not bad. It's not super noticeable. Which it all is depends fine. on what you want too. I mean, if you want it out of box or not, yeah, it's definitely. And yeah, so like you said, is like he was saying, is you can see the with the old man ones. I've noticed a lot is they're putting the lines in, so it actually looks like the old. Uh, yeah. What is it, Han? His old man looks really good. I mean, you can totally tell. Um, yeah, it's really cool with the guns. He's even got the the holsters on the yeah, side. The and, holsters, yeah. Yeah, so he's a, the old bald man. Oh yeah, these are, I mean, you know, you got everything from the little details of the back of the suit. Uh, yeah, 
I mean, just all the gun, the way the guns are and all that stuff, it's it's yeah. just fascinating how they've done with these. And the, they do a really good job with the stuff now. With, with I mean, the, the biggest complaint for me sometimes is the paint, but as far as the sculpts go, the sculpts on these are just amazing. Oh, yeah, and the I mean, details. every once in a while you'll get the, uh, with the bobbleheads and stuff like that, the spring itself yep. can be bad. Yeah. But, I mean, it's more often than not, it tends to be pretty okay. And, yeah. And when you take them out and you put them, you know, you set them down, they don't tend to bobble too much. No. Um, and with these guys, they will stand no matter what. Like some of the other bobbleheads being, you know, kind of a little top heavy, they will kind of be a little tricky to, to do. But that is it for the box. That is everything we got. Um, I definitely have to say that this is probably the coolest thing in there for me. Oh, definitely. It's... Yeah. I love the, the Darth Maul. I love the character. I wish he'd have been in the movie a little longer. Yeah, it was, uh, he it was, was. definitely a... for this for this box, I mean, I mean yep. they showed up beforehand they, that they were going to have this one in there, and it, it just yeah, it just took off from there. Yeah, and they yeah, so they do have the five colors for the the chopper, and it was orange, red, black. Okay, looks like clear mm. and kind of a gold color. Okay, yeah. Right. So, and this just kind of gives you an idea. They didn't do too much on like the production. They normally would show like the different three D pictures and how it was all made. One thing I always find amusing is they actually give you the color codes. Not that you ever need them, but they actually have them on there for the different colors they use, which I always found pretty interesting. Um, I mean, that can also help anybody who decides that they want to customize it. Customize it, yeah. So it kind of gives them an idea as to what color e exactly, to use. Exactly, the exact and... color, which is kind of cool. So, um, but yeah, I'm definitely excited for the next box. No, it's it's going to be a good one, I think. Yeah. So. I mean, you, know, you got the 40, it's the 40th, so it's definitely going to be a top one. Yep. So that is it for this box. Yeah. So looks like we're doing some stuff on social media. Mike's been working on. We got a Facebook page and a Twitter now for the Nerdsmithing brand. Uh, we're gonna keep tweaking stuff as we're learning because we're both learning on how oh, to yeah, do a lot of definitely. this stuff. So um, yeah, we're gonna try and get out there as much as we can. So please, I mean, like the page, find it on Twitter. You know, like it all. We're going to keep trying to post these videos as much as we can, yep. as often as we can. So. Yeah. Hopefully production value will keep going up. No, oh, definitely. Yep. They're looking better. And hopefully the pages will look a lot better. But. Yep. We're just kind of tweaking stuff. We did add some, uh, some different graphics that my beautiful wife made for us because she's a graphic designer and she's awesome at what she does. Oh, they look amazing. And so we kind of did that stuff. We're going to kind of change it up a little bit and have some different ones on there at times. But um, yeah, very nice. Very cool. Thank you, honey. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. I think that's, that's all we have. That's it. We'll see you guys again soon. Yeah. Stay awesome. Take care.